All right, my people, my people. <clears throat> let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. It's a beautiful Thursday. Just finish up the morning routine. Some reading, journaling, self work. I spoke on it yesterday trading mindset, trading psychology. I don't do my morning morning routines just to have a proper trading psychology and trading mindset just but to in general have a good mindset have a good start of the day you have a good start of the morning you have a good morning you will have a good day a good day you will have a good week a good week you will have a good month a good month you will have a good year good year you'll have a good life so always make sure that you're doing what's best of what you got right now and where you're at right now to always progress and make it better and better. Life is about uh, improvement. And uh, you maybe heard this uh, Japanese word, it's Kaizen. Kaizen means constant improvement. So in our lives, we are uh, addicted to improvement. We are built to constantly improve. And a lot of people get depressed and stuff like that because they don't understand what uh, they don't understand that part of life. So they sit, they do nothing, and they they waste their life away and get depressed. And the simplest way to switch that around for some people is just to start doing something and get and find improvement in that thing every day. So whatever you do, if it's trading, if it's training, uh, working out, eating healthy. Uh, relationships whatever it is try to improve every day try to become better with what you do every day every day and you will find a uh, inner joy and happiness that is very fulfilling and uh, that gives your life a purpose so with that said some mindset talk let's jump into the charts and today we do an Bootcamp day four. Bootcamp day four and it's support, resistance, and trend lines. So this is when it starts to get more fun for your resistance trends today. And what's fun about this is this is when you really start to look at trading actually and uh, start to understand what the market is doing, where it's moving, and uh, where it might go. Alright? So with that said, let's jump straight into it. Bootcamp day four support resistance uh, trends. Let's do it. And I'm gonna use Bitcoin today. I'm gonna use crypto and Bitcoin today. Why wow, Bitcoin? Because it's fun. We love crypto over here at Prosperous. We're all about we're all about trading, crypto, AI, forex, and uh, crypto is what is how this whole channel started. So let's look at Bitcoin. We haven't done that in a while. And I'm going to start by cleaning cleaning up all the drawings here so that we have a clean chart, a naked chart. A, a clean chart with no drawings called a naked chart. And it's always good to start your analysis with a naked chart to get a perspective of what's going on uh, and what's been going on to see it more without any distractions to see the the, the, the charts without any, any distractions drawings helps you understand levels and uh, patterns in the market but they can become they, they can become distractive also from seeing new levels and new patterns okay so the first thing we start with is support what is support what is market support market support is exactly what it sounds like it's a zone in the market where you see that the market has found support all right so if you see market coming down like here for example it's coming down and kind of bouncing off coming down again bouncing off the area it bounced off is an area where the market has found support all right so here it found support here it found support here it has found some kind of support 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 all right so support is a floor 
that's the floor uh, that the, the market hits and finds support uh, to move up again. When it's the opposite, let's say the market is moving up and bounces off something that is resistance, that is a zone of resistance. So here you see re uh, market found resistance, 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 and so on. You understand? So this is different um, tops with market found uh, support uh, with market found resistance. Support resistance is the same thing, just in reverse. Okay, now what is a support zone then? So we understand it's very simple, it's very logical. Uh, support is floor, resistance is roof. Okay, and that limits the range for the market. I can directly throw it out that a breakout is of course when the market breaks out of that resistance, breaks out of that support. But we will we will get to that later. And uh, now, what is a support zone? This is very important because this is a zone where the market always tends to come to and find support. A support zone is exactly what it sounds like. It's a zone of support where, as I said, market always tends to bounce up from. So in this case, now we're looking on a Bitcoin on a, on a daily time frame. This is a big time frame. So I'm pulling the support. What you guys see here is, okay, let me take my highlighter. You see that the market has found support here, support here. So all this is in common supports. You have some kind of, kind of support here, even though it's higher up and here support, okay? So this tool that I'm using for drawing on these charts, and by, by the way, for you, uh, for y'all that don't, don't know, I'm drawing on, on uh, trading view. So if you wanna know like how to uh, use what I use, uh, go into tradingview.com and open an account, it's free. Uh, you don't get all the indicators and everything for free, but you can do a lot of stuff for free. You can do all these drawings and stuff for free. So open an account there for free and start uh, marking up your charts and start practicing practicing what I'm preaching, what I'm saying. So, and what other people that you listen to, other mentors are saying. So, this drawing tool, as you see, it has a horizontal line and a vertical line. Like You see this cross here. Uh, that I'm that that I use to draw on this um, uh, on the trading view as a horizontal line as a vertical line. You use the horizontal line to easily spot support or resistance. So when I use this horizontal line and I'm pulling it up here, you see that we have some in common points. We have support here, and then you see that the support continues here and continues here. All right. So now we see we have a very strong zone of support here. Boom, we pull it like this. And how you pull the support depends on the person preaching. Everybody ha have their way of pulling the support zone. My way of doing it is actually much more complicated than this. Uh, I look at volume. Uh, I use the volume profile a lot to to see to see where the support is, where the resistance is. But to keep it very simple, uh, at a basic level, I uh, use. Let me show you guys. So of course, we're using this multiple hits, this multiple support hits, but then. To find the bottom of the support and the top of the support zone, we go to the last um, to the last uh, test of the support, which is here. This is the last test of the support before uh, market broke through the support. And what we do then is we use the bottom of that zone. So we use this wick right here that we see, and the top. This depends on also what time frame you're at. But if you're on a, on a daily time frame like I am now, then the, bo the bottom is um, the, the closing of the lowest candle. So the closing of the lowest candle. And the lowest candle in this case, let me zoom in so you understand, 
is this candle right here or these two candles and they closed right here so that's the top of the support zone this is the support zone and this is the top of it and the bottom of it is where where the wick ends and that's the lowest wick we have in this case Sometimes you can you can find something like yeah like for example this week here. That's uh, um, basically basically some kind of fake out or market manipulate manip market manipulations. Doesn't have to be it, but uh, we don't count those wicks in because those wicks are outside of the market structure. They they don't uh, they don't play along with this market structure that we are looking at. Okay. Now, and by the way, the support is very important for real because I remember when this happened and we saw Bitcoin coming down all the way down here and testing the support and it was like, we tested it, we tested it multiple times, oh sorry, and We tested it, we tested it, came back, tested it again, and when we moved up here, I have a, I have a recording on uh, the Prosperous channel way back when, when is this? This is 2022 summer, yeah, 2022 in June. I have a recording there, you can see an old analysis where I say, I believe that this is a fake out. I even uh, I called it that this is a fake out and I think the market is going to break down because it has already tested the support so many times so it's probably going to break through and go deeper and this is exactly what happened and what this is a breakout so it broke through and then it just fell all right that is support one second let me check something that is support. Now let's check resistance. Let's check resistance. So resistance is, as I mentioned before, the same thing as support, but in reverse. Where does market find resistance? So let's look at some places where, where we find resistance. Here, for example, you can see Market came down, came up again, resistance. Came down, came up again, resistance, resistance, resistance. Broke through, retested the zone, the resistance zone as support, then broke through again. Came up, ah, some form of resistance before it dropped down. So, we see that there is a resistance zone right here. Boom, pull it like this. Now, <clears throat> same thing as in this, uh, when I was marking out support, I used the lowest candle, I used the lowest candle wick to, uh, to spot the bottom of the support and I used the, the lowest candle closing to, to spot the, the, uh, the top of the support now in resistance is the opposite so I use the highest candle wick uh, from the last uh, place where market found resistance the last candle wick and that's this one right here I use I, I use it as the top for the resistance zone and as the bottom for the resistance zone what do we use the lowest close the highest closing candle body the highest the, the highest candle uh, closing candle body this is the candle body if you don't know they don't know let me zoom in and explain this is the candle body this is the candle body and the wick so this is the candle body and the wick is this these two sticks uh, wicking up from it all right just explain it fast and short let me know if you, if, um, you 
you guys want me to repeat something? So, with that said, we have spotted a uh, resistance here. And what, mar what did the market do? Came down up, resistance, 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 broke through. This is interesting. It broke through and retested this resistance as support. Now we're talking about price action now. So this is the next lesson that we're going to jump into. I'm just giving you some uh, small peeks into what we're going to jump, uh, what we're going to talk about in the next lesson. But this is some price action we're talking about now. So we have resistance all the way. And the market broke through and came down to retest this resistance as support now because now we flipped it so now it's support right it's retesting it as support but it doesn't hold what happens market breaks through and goes deeper actually does some kind of small retest uh, of it as uh, resistance and um, uh, and uh, goes deeper down to jump on these support levels here uh, this is Daniel typing to me thanks bro so let me give you now when you understand what support and resistance is let me give you another quick example now just to like really reaffirm it all right let's go into a smaller time frame let's go into the five minute time frame to the 50 minute time frame always when you pull your charts on trading view you want to use auto here so that it automatically adjusts uh, on height uh, when you when you're pulling the vertical the horizontal um, time uh, axle all right now let's see another support all right where can we find support? Remember what I said about this cross? This helps us spot the support, okay? When you do this a lot, uh, a lot of times, you get, you, you don't even need tools to see where support, where resistance or where trends are. You start to see with your eyes, your eyes become so trained to spot support, resistance and trends in the market. So the only thing, the only reason why you draw it is not to forget it and um, to get some more clearance on it, all right? But now for simplicity, we're using all the tools here. And this cross that I was talking about has the horizontal line that helps us spot the support and it has, helps us spot the resistance. So where do we see support here? Okay, market comes down. And like if you follow this horizontal line, you see it bounced off here, bounced off here, bounced off here, broke through, played around a little bit resistance broke up again bounced off here bounced off here uh, played with the zone a little bit bounced off here and that's what it is so we have a strong support zone here strong and strong we have a very clear support zone there looks something like this As our support now the interesting thing is i can use the same example of the support as resistance because this this area this zone has many times been broken through been breached and been working as resistance look at it so we found support 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 then what happened market broke through now we have a resistance market has a difficult time breaking through when it finally does, comes up, kind of a, almost like a fake out, goes back down again, comes up and retests it as resistance. So now it has flipped the support all the way to resistance. Now it is resistance. It's testing it, it's testing it, it's testing it. And remember, the more the market tests our resistance, for example, or support, like you see here, same thing goes for trends also, we're gonna jump into it soon. The more the market tests it, it's, I used to think that it meant that that's, that that resistance is really strong. Market is coming back, testing it, testing it, and bouncing off uh, of it. 
No, it's the opposite. They're every For every time it comes and tests that resistance line or that support zone, what happens is it gets weaker and weaker. It's almost like it's uh, with a sledgehammer uh, beating on that support floor or at that resistance roof. And finally it breaks through. And when it breaks through, it breaks through. It does a thing. So what happened here? It's resistance, resistance, resistance. Boom, it broke through, flipped it again. Now with a support again. Now it's testing it as support again. Played around with this area, support, resistance. Yeah, you have everything here. And then, yeah, major support again, broke through again, major resistance. So this is a very interesting area because as you guys see, there's a lot uh, that's going on through um, with the zone here. Has flipped it several times as support or resistance. Now you guys understand what support and resistance is. If anything, please write in the chat box and I'll gladly repeat it and um, go through it again so you guys understand. The most important thing for me is that you guys understand this. So that when you see me marking up the charts uh, and pulling them out on uh, posting them on the Prosperous channel, then um, you know what you're looking at and you know what you, you, sh uh, you should be looking at. And whatever I'm saying now, use it research it even more google it youtube it whatever even more to dive deeper into it and go into trading view as i said trading view is free use it go in and start marking up your own uh, support and resistance line and all of that good stuff so that you get good at this this is how you this is how you get good at trading by doing not only trading and everything in life do what you learn not only learn you have to take actions on that as well all right action takers are money makers So now we're on the five minute time frame and we're looking at the Bitcoin chart and now we're going to see some, we're going to look at some live stuff. So the first thing we're going to look at is we're going to look at trends now. So what is trend lines? Trends, a market trend is exactly what it sounds like. It's a trend. Market is moving in a certain direction. It's showing a trend in a certain, a certain direction, right? And basically what it is, it's a support or resistance that is sloping either down or up so you have a bearish trend you have a bullish trend all right a bullish trend something that is bullish is something that goes up in the markets and it's something that is bearish is when the market goes down so as you guys see here looking at the five minute time frame we're looking at, at a bearish um, at a bullish trend right market has been pumping up which uh, by the way i have to cover this in a, another uh, stream but this whole move here uh, shows a, a lot of market manipulation it basically the bitcoin should it should it should not have moved like this according to the news on the inflation that that came out but that's another story now we're focusing on, focusing on support resistance and trends so we have a trend here the first kind of a trend i see is this here look you have this bottom, market came down, made this low, then what? It started to move up. So move from this low, came up, broke through, kind of played around, played, played a little bit with this trend here, some kind of fake out, and again, hit it to before it made its major pull up. That's one trend. Let me pull. Let me show you a clear trend, like uh, something that is more. Um, more trendy. Here we have something interesting. Okay, so we have two tr two types of trends in in the same. We have a pattern that shows two different trends on the same time axle, and that's that's actually a pattern with a name, and I'm gonna show it to you guys now. So what we have here now is a trend, all right? We have an uptrend and on the same time axle, we have some form of downtrend forming, all right? So what is happening here? Uptrend 
boom market hits resistance and starts to go down in a downtrend at the same time axle what signifies an uptrend low a higher low so the next low is higher than the previous one low higher low higher low higher low all right low let's do it like this higher low and higher low I'm gonna just write HL for high low and a higher low this is an uptrend low higher low higher low higher low higher low a downtrend what is that that is the opposite You have a high, and what you got more? You have a low, uh, lower, lower high, And I'm just writing L H lower high, lower high. So an uptrend, you have a low, higher low, higher low, higher low. It's moving up like that. And most often, what you will see is three waves, three major waves on the on the trend. So you will see like one hit, two hit, three hit, and then some form of correction afterwards. We will go, get into that as well. Elliot waves and all of that. Downtrend, same thing. You'll see, uh, you'll see a high, then you'll see a one hit, two hit, three hit. In this case, it doesn't follow the rule. When you see something like this, when you see a uptrend and a downtrend forming at the same time axle, at the same time axle. So this is not like you have an uptrend here, then you have an uptrend here. This is on the same time zone you have a, a, an uptrend and a, lo, a downtrend on the same time frame as well what you, what this pattern is called this is this this forming a pattern like some form of drawing right and what this pattern is called is a bearish wedge this is a bearish wedge so what that means is we actually have a bearish uh, signal here that the market might drop market might because it's coming up testing this high the, testing this um, this downtrend as uh, resistance. Remember what I said: trends are um, upwards or downwards sloping uh, resistance or support. So in this case, it's a downward sloping resistance, and it's coming up testing it now, and we might see a drop from there. But my experience with wedges is this: boom and then down. So it takes out. All the stop losses here, market manipulation, and then it goes down. And that's what we might see here as well. So, we're going through support, we're going through resistance, and we're going through trends. Now, we only looked at trends at one place, so let, let's take one more, one more spot to look at trend, just to clarify it. Here's a perfect place. Boom, look at this. And when you have when you have a channel like this, the market is ranging in between. It's called this is exactly what it's called. It's a, called a channel. So this is an upward sloping channel that we see here. The market's ranging and then broke out. And this is actually a, a bullish pattern so and this is what it did it broke up so what we're looking at here is 
support, uh, sorry, not support, uh, a trend that is acting as resistance for the market. Support here, resistance here. So, what did we get? We got high, higher high, higher high. Bull market does some form of correction before it uh, does the pump. Now, you might be thinking, okay, Jay, but what about this? That shit don't, don't, uh, don't match in. No, you're right. This, what you see in here, is straight up market manipulation. Like these things, this is not a normal move by the market. This is due to news. When news uh, come out, this is the, the kind of stuff you might see. And this is when, uh, when was this? This is when, um, uh, oh, when the Chairman Powell was speaking, the FOMC meeting. Market did a quick dip, a quick dip, and then just boom, shot up. Um, took out some uh, some stop losses here as well. Came back down and start and continued it, uh, its uptrend. As you see, the uptrend here is very clear. Like I said before, uptrend is an uptrend, downtrend is a downtrend. So what we see here is a very clear uptrend. Like the market is moving up, the trend is upwards, and you see high, sorry, high, higher high. A higher high here you see a low you see a higher low and you see a higher low now you might say also hey Jay but what look look at this like this thing this low here doesn't hit uh, your uh, trend line perfectly no it, it, it doesn't always hit the trend line perfectly what you the important thing that you need to look at is not if it hits the the, the line perfectly because it, it it very seldom will. The important thing is to watch if the structure is intact, if the structure is there. If the low, a higher low, so it means this low is higher than, than, than this or this low, higher low, higher low, oh, sorry, higher low, and then here, higher lows. So that forms an uptrend. Just as I said here, high, higher high so we're still in this market structure uh, and a higher high this we just ignore it because this is um, this is uh, fundamentals that is affecting the markets here and within this is also f the funny part with this with trends so within this trend what do you see so you have this this trend that that, that I just drew out and explained but then you have mini trends inside this trend so in this big trend you have high higher high so you have a trend forming here as well let me make it clear you have a small trend there you have a small you have a small trend here high higher high higher high higher high Let's see if we have some something going in the opposite direction. Yeah, this is some form of smaller trend in here. From here, down here. So here we had the market going downwards. So inside the trend, this is like those babushka dolls. Uh, what, 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 I don't remember what it's called. Those Russian dolls, you know, with the doll inside and the doll inside and the doll inside. It's the same thing with trends. You can see inside, and it's the same thing with um, support and resistance and all of that. You can see uh, an uptrend, and you will see up and down, downward uh, downtrends inside that uptrend. All right, just as you see here. So, with that said, the marks are everything I have to go through when it comes to support and resistance, and uh, just to do a quick recap support is the market floor is the flow that where market finds support all the time and bounce off from and resistance is the opposite is the is the roof where market uh, always hits uh, resistance and uh, experiences resistance and bounces down from all right
trends are basically sloping support and resistance upwards or downwards sloping support and resistance that's showing uh, the trend of the market and what direction it is moving with that said i wish you guys a blessed day and stay prosperous and trade safe boom